Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator. Today we are driving the fantastic Class 350 uh, Armstrong Powerhouse Enhanced, of course. We're going to be on the uh, the West Coast Main Line, Trent Valley. And, uh, oh hang on, are we, are we going already? Surely not. Oh wow, no, hang on, depart 622, why are we... Uh, why are we leaving so early? We're down at Rugby. Yeah, this is a fantastic little train some glitch. I think if you open your doors a little bit too early, uh, it, uh, yeah, it yells at you. Yeah, it lets you go quick uh, before your time. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're just going to sit here for well, a couple of minutes because we're not due out until 6.22. So we're, gonna, uh, we're just going to sit here. It's not a particularly pleasant day. Oh, hang on. It's 6.21 in the morning. So we've got our night headlights on. Uh, usually we drive with the day headlights. Oh, what's that over there? Pendolino of some sort. Can't see. There's a station in the way. You just see the back end. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, what's the year then? Is it about 2019, 2020? Maybe early, just a little bit earlier. Was it December 2019 that Virgin lost the franchise? I can't remember, you know. It all blurs into one. Um, but yeah, we've got the white Pendolinos with the Virgin flowing silk. So I think, that, was that 2019 that happened? It seems like a lifetime away, doesn't it? It really does. Right, okay, so 21 and 30 seconds, the guard will be shutting the doors around about now, so we'll, uh, I've just put it into, uh, into reverse there. Never mind. Right, there we go. That'll do. Right, off we go. Oh, I've not done the doodah up there. Right, click that. We've acknowledged the config. Away! Way, well, hey, off we go. Bit of an abrupt start there, wasn't it? Right, we'll make sure we've got the driver vigilance device on. Now, uh, this scenario today that we're driving is an hour in length. We're going to drive half an hour of it, because obviously I know half an hour is a nice bite sizable chunk, isn't it? And then in the next episode, we'll return and, uh, and drive the rear portion of this. So it's a nice little bite sized chunk for everybody, isn't it? I know that sometimes hour long videos can just be a tad. They can be a, a tad long, can't they? So we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. Now, uh, this has always been a route that I've sort of shied away from. I've, I've never really enjoyed it, to tell you the truth. Uh, leaving rugby there. Hang on, are we? Yeah, leaving rugby. Uh, yeah, I've, I've never really enjoyed this route um, since it came out. And that's probably because I don't know an awful lot about it, to be honest with you. I mean, I've grown up in, in the east of the country, so to speak, in West Yorkshire. Uh, so my route to London was always down the east coast main line, rather than the west coast. Uh, so when obviously this route came out many years ago, uh, then I was, uh, yeah, I didn't really know anything about it. It was just sort of the Midlands, you know, just ugh, generic Midlands. Um, you know, I didn't know about the trains going via Birmingham and via the Trent Valley, you know, different Avanti, well, Virgin at the time, Pendolino routes. So it, it never really appealed to me, this route, purely and simply because I don't know it. Now, I believe that those are the lines off to Birmingham there, if we, uh, if we go... Yeah, that looks Birmingham-esque. Oh, there's a, there's a train, there's a freight train somewhere. Oh, he's just there, look. You just see him through there. Oh, he's over there as well. Uh, yeah, but now, since I've been living over in the west of the country, obviously I've been whizzing about a little bit more on this line, so it does appeal a lot more now. I'm actually like, oh, yeah, Nuneaton, I know where that is. <laughs> Tamworth, places like that. Oh, small world, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. I've really been getting into this West Coast mainline Trent Valley recently. It's quite a nice, uh, even the stopping services stop at places you've heard of. So it's nice. It's lovely. And of course, the Armstrong Powerhouse uh, 350 is a uh, is an absolute pleasure to drive. It's probably helping the, because uh, obviously when it wasn't Armstrong Powerhouse enhanced, it wasn't very good. Having a look inside there, of course, it is the, uh, the South Western 450 uh, with the pantograph on the roof enhanced. But that doesn't mean to say it's a bad train at all. It really, really is a pleasure to drive this. There's, uh, if I remember, I will put links in the description as to where you can get the route and the train from. If I remember, of course, but you know what I'm like. Right, so flying up here now. Quite a lengthy gap, actually, between uh, Rugby and Dunedin. This was actually the first route that I recall from, uh, from Thompson Interactive where it had... Uh, a woman, a really creepy woman doing the announcements. Like, the, it actually had automated announcements if you were playing on career mode. But it didn't sound like the actual woman at all. It, it was really, ooh, it was creepy. Really, really odd. She sounded a bit haunted. So 
It's quite nice, isn't it? Just blasting along in a 350. The the lovely units. I mean, I've I've worked 350s in the past. The the from a conductor point of view, the really really lovely units 350s, and they have um they have a, a step down there. You can't actually. It's not modelled on this, but this is a step. Uh, well, not a step, but a ramp, which is really weird. Uh, there are many times where I've been stood uh, in the cab chatting with a colleague and uh, I've stepped back and fallen out of the cab into the train, much to uh, passengers looking around like, what on earth's going on? Um, <laughs> because that's a, that's a ramp um, on the 350s, because of course this gangway has to go above the coupling. So you, oh, Pendolino, give him a wave. I don't think he's got his headlights on. So yeah, you sort of step up, go over the ramp, and then when you go into the other cab, you step down again and back into the train. It's, uh, it's sort of like what the 802s have you know like when you go from the pantograph coach into the non-pantograph coach very much like that took a little while to uh, to get used to that in all honesty oh i've just realized we've got no rain anymore God, it's a good job the driver's paying attention isn't it i wonder if we'll get something overtaking us that'd be quite nice who did the scenario it doesn't actually say i can't remember where i got this scenario from probably alan thompson sim i usually do But yeah, I've driven this scenario already. I drove it a couple of weeks ago and I thought, you know what, I really, really enjoyed that. That is the sort of thing that we can do on a video. And here we are. Oh, give the, uh, oh he raised his arm. Look, look at that, that's cool. Never noticed him in the last, uh, last version of this. Got some sort of river canal down there on the left hand side. Probably a canal, you find that railways are, uh, are often sort of in tune with canals, aren't they? Probably because it's flat. Obviously you can't really have a canal on a hill, can you? Otherwise all the, the water would fall out. Yeah. Oh, there's a, oh, it must be a canal, there's a barge on it. Someone enjoying their uh, enjoying their holidays around the uh, the outskirts of Birmingham. Lovely. Now I'm not sure, because obviously it says up there max speed 100 miles an hour, I know that some 350s can do 110 miles an hour, I don't know if all the 350 fleet can do 110 miles an hour, so I'm just going to stick it 100, because obviously that's what it says up there, I imagine that the timetable is timed for us to just do 100, so we'll, we'll just plod along at 100, we're, we're managing to actually, I've got it in 40% power as you can probably see from the bottom there, just keep it at 100. That's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, that's good. I'm enjoying this. You can understand why, uh, I mean, to be fair, the route is, is fairly detailed, isn't it? Compared to the original routes, like if you drive the... Uh, dovetail settled to Carlisle now, it looks quite barren, doesn't it? The route is, is fantastically detailed. Plenty going on, plenty to see. Oh, did it just go really dark then, or was that me? Got some sort of cataract coming on. Don't know, but we've got a, 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 a double flashing yellow there, so we'll just take the power off a little bit. We'll coast, it'll be fine, we don't need to... Uh, that obviously is signalling that we're coming off onto a slow line, doesn't it? Yeah, I've been. Uh, I've, I've sort of got a bit of a weird obsession with this part of the world. Uh, I've been playing SimSig as well recently. In fact, I was playing it ten minutes before I started recording this video. I've uh, I've purchased the Staffordshire uh, branch that so does Stafford down towards Rugeley Trent Valley, uh, up to Stoke on Trent, and that because obviously that is now my part of the world. Uh, I'll just take a uh, take a bit more bit of break into it. Slow down for the seventy five. Uh, 
uh, and all up through Stafford and up towards Crewe that way. There's plenty of uh, railway to signal on there. But yeah, just I, th I think because it's so busy with all the pendolinos whizzing about, I, I really do love this area of railway. Oh, I hope that red signal's not for me. Nope, there's a yellow around the corner. You can just see it. There we go, that'll do. 75 through the signal via Attleborough South Junction. Down slow. That's the problem, isn't it? We're on the uh, on the slows now. No more 100 for us. Oh, oh dear. In fact, yeah, up to Stafford today, because that's where we terminate. Uh, we are actually going to go that usually. I honestly thought those two reds, I thought one of them were for me then. I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, oh no. I mean, to be fair, I did go belting through that yellow at quite a rate of knots. So, I'd, yeah, I should, should really have treated the next signal as a red, but, uh, but there we go. If I ever do get to be a train driver, I'd, I'd love nothing more than to be a train driver. Oh, look at this. What's this? Caledonian sleeper going the other way. Fantastic, with a 90 haul in it. Excellent. Yeah, if I ever do get to be a train driver, I, I really do hope that like none of the none of the managers ever look at this train driving because I'd be sacked on the spot. I really would. There we go. We'll have a nice smooth stop into uh, into Nuneaton, I think. What time are we due in? 6.34 arrival, I think. Due out at 6.39. Good Lord, we'll have a bit of time here. Some time to, uh, to check out and eat, and that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh. Oh, yeah, we went under the bridge, didn't we? Right, let's see if we can see a four-car board. I'm, uh, I'm useless, particularly when the platform is on the right-hand side, uh, actually seeing... These uh, these stop boards. We'll slow down to about fifteen. Ah, there we go. I can see a four car, four and five car board just there, just after the magnets. So we'll uh, we'll aim for that. Don't know roughly where we are. I think we've gone a little bit past it. That'll do. Right, eighty-five percent into neutral. Doors are open. Right, hang on, let's have a look at that. How did that... Wow, is that is that actually at the, the four and five car board? Wow, that is a pretty good stop. I'm, I'm happy with that. I mean, it's only a four car, isn't it? So we're way on the platform. So it doesn't matter that I'm, what, a couple of, couple of inches short? That That's absolutely fine. That's probably one of the best stops that I've ever done on train sim, you know. It really is. Right now, I'm hoping that we're. Uh, oh, yeah, you see, we've got the operated by West Midlands Trains. This is the uh, this is the full livery, isn't it? The full London North Western livery. I just wish, I really do wish, and it's a controversial view, but I wish that they'd done the yellow front, like you know, like London Midland used to be, where it had the the sort of blobby, where it was all yellow. I just think this, it sort of looks like there's a yellow coffin stuck to the front of the train. It's uh, yeah, it's it's. I just think it'd look so much better if it had the yellow and, and, and oh no yellow at all. It's just this this sort of yellow. Well, yeah, coffin. That's all I can describe it as. I I think the livery would look so much better. Because uh, of course, on the new stuff, there's no yellow front at all. It's so I, I I get because these are the older style headlights. There has to be a bit of yellow, but I just oh, it'd be so much nicer if they just did some yellow. I'm telling you, there's people that break in. Uh, to train depots, you see it occasionally and graffiti up the side of trains. If I was ever going to do that, I'd just break in and just paint the fronts yellow. I'm like, there you go, You've got a yellow front end. I'm a big believer in the yellow front end. I, I think a lot of trains look fantastic with it, just because it's what we're used to, isn't it? That said, the uh, the Transpennine 802s do look fantastic without the yellow front end. So, you know, it's, it's one of them. But uh, And I think they'd look a bit odd with it now. Um, but, yeah, I'd... I'd I don't like this sort of half and half business uh, going on there. 
of course, it's quite nice because many of them, many of the uh, the three fifty stroke twos. In fact, I think are all of them, or just many of them, uh, are in the London Midland livery still. So we can still see the three fifties with the yellow front ends. It's uh, it's nice. It's lovely, lovely. In fact, oh, it started raining again. Right, let's uh, let's have a bit more. See, we don't really need that, do we? Can we have the intermittent, the interval one? That'll do. Just lovely. Should have used that before, really, shouldn't I? Anything whizzing past us? Anything to see? No. I wonder why they have so long sat at uneaten. Do you reckon we were meant to be following some sort of freight train that's never... A... What is the point in that platform? Flipping it, you can't even fit a 153 on there. I'm assuming that this used to be longer before this sort of line went in here. There was probably a platform here. Looking at how this abruptly ends, I would... Uh, yeah, I'd imagine that. See, again, it's it's not a, a area of railway I know anything about at all. I reckon when it went dark earlier, that was it going behind a cloud. I mean, look at that pink sky. Isn't that gorgeous? We're, uh, we are going to have a screenshot of that, because that is lovely. Pinky purple, isn't it? I'm going to have to... Uh, See, the, the problem with not having a yellow front as well is that's not going to stand out on a thumbnail, is it? <laughs> thumbnail for the video. Just just thinking of myself all the time there. I wonder, I mean, this service was the 6am Northampton to crew. I wonder if this would be a busy train. Again, I'd, I don't know, I'm assuming this is a fairly busy line because there's, there's a lot of stuff running up and down, but like in terms of commuter commuter lines, I, I don't know. We've not registered the GSMR. No, oh, no. Forgot to do that. Hang on. Two... Hang on, what's this? No, two, uniform, two, one. What's the signal? We'll register it here. That'll do. What's the signal number? Quick. Uh, right, hang on, where are we? Five, four, four, one. Oh, five, four, four, it looks like. We'll, we'll go with five, four, four, that'll do. There we go. Ah, oh, lovely. Should we just assume that we got a uh, we got a a kicking up the backside from the signaller there? Come on, guard, in your own time. <laughs> I guess we'll be... Are we dispatched here at Nuneaton? It strikes me as, you know, there's quite a few... I'm in a Vanti stop here as well, don't they, on uh, a couple of their services. So, yeah, I would imagine that uh, that would be dispatched. That'll do. Full steam ahead. Atherston next stop, or Atherstone. I'd imagine it was Atherston. It's Atherston up north. What time we're due into there? It doesn't actually give us timings for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the jaunt today. Oh, it's one of the ones that stops at Polesworth. Now, I've been led to believe that not a lot of trains stop at Polesworth. Oh, Rugeley North Junction, there's a 30-50 temporary street speed restriction. Right, we'll uh, we'll have to remember that. I don't think we'll be covering that until the next video, though, do you? That'll be uh, that'll be in part two, I would imagine. Shall we, uh, shall we try and get a nice photo?
That'll do. Ooh, that was a close call, wasn't it? Right, let's, uh, let's flip round there. There we go. Right, up to 75. We'll, uh, we'll just take the power off there a little bit. Now, we were managing to hold it at 75 at about 40%, were we? Oh, oh no, that was 100. Right, that's not going to work then, is it? We'll have to rethink the, uh, the lazy driving strategy there of just leaving it on and, and the train doing its thing. Twenty percent should do the trick. That'll do. Oh, oh no, we're still speeding up. Of course, as the uh, oh, hang on, have we, as the rain stopped, right? We'll uh, we'll take the take the wipers off there, save the blades and all that. It's a shame that the uh, I mean, obviously, the, for London Northwestern, there's those new adventurers that are coming. I don't know what routes they're actually planning to operate on, um, but yeah, the, uh, the there's the new adventure fleet coming. It is a shame that the you know that the three fifties will be sort of they're not the uh, the pride of the fleet anymore, are they? I mean, they they always sort of were, weren't they? With London Midland, because they were, you know, wow, that that was what they operated. Um, but yeah, they they won't be the pride of the fleet anymore, which is a big shame, really, because you know I I still view them as modern units. Some of them are twenty years old. It's just weird for me, is that, that over twenty years old? Oh, another Pendolino there. It's like the Trans Pennine Express one eight fives. It's like all the South West trains, South Western Railway fleet that is over 20 years old, like the 444s, the 450s. It's it's just odd. Where does the time go? I know, I know. Oh, gone dark again. Must be a cloud. I do hope a Pendolino will uh, will overtake us at some point. That'll be fantastic. Do you know what? Two uniform, two one. Yeah, it goes to crew, doesn't it? And then it goes via um, via Stoke on Trent because I was actually, as I said, I was doing the signalling, and I did this because I wrong routed it at uh, at Kidsgrove. I, th I thought two uniform, two one was a, uh, a Manchester. I thought it was a Northern to Manchester. <laughs> I sent it down there, and uh, and he come to a screeching halt and started yelling at me. So yeah, two uniform, two one. I know this head code. Ah, <laughs> I upset the driver on it earlier. Another three fifty in London Midland. Doesn't it look good for that yellow front? All right, you've made your point now. Stop, stop barreling on about yellow fronts. See if we can go two for two with this uh, fantastic stopping business. You have to slow down a little bit more if you want to actually stop at Atherston full stop. I think it's just the end of the platform, isn't it, to be honest with you? That'll do. There we go. Lovely. Right, into full service. Out of power. Doors are opening. Oh, signs are actually in the ground as well. That's, uh, that's good. I often like to double check now for floating signs. There's so many, uh, so many routes where you can find a floating sign, but no, these all seem pretty grounded. There we go, we'll have, uh, we have a bit of 
I don't know if there's any sort of, uh, for West Midlands, whether there's, well, there'll be a, a, a driving policy, I'm sure. At the company where I work, it's called the Professional Driver's Policy. I'm sure there'll be uh, something that, like, with the sprinters, dictates that you're going to notch three, notch five, notch seven, you know, instead of just doing what I do and razz it straight into uh, full power. I'm sure there'll be something that dictates how you should be driving these trains. No more than, say, 50% braking. Where are we going next? Ooh, it's Polesworth, everybody. Polesworth. Little uh, little windmill there. Just a little ditty one. That'll be powering that signal. <laughs> if there's no wind, the signals all go grey. whizzing along. It's, uh, to say that it's 6am, I'd have thought we'd have seen a bit more Pendolino traffic. I guess going northbound, no, nothing will have overtaken us at this point, will they? Because if the first departures from London are at, uh, are at what, 5am? I guess they, they won't be going this way at this point, will they? They'd, they'd probably still be at Rugby now, the first one. I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm not too sure about the old timetabling for this route. But yeah, I'd have sort of hazarded, hazarded a, did, a guess. Let's have another, uh, let's have another, another shot there, lovely. You can never have too many. light isn't it compared to how it was earlier it must be summer coming light fairly quick I mean 6 48 in the morning to be fair yeah if it's coming light at this time it must be summer which is good because hopefully that means no slippy uh, no leaf fall and we've not gone sliding through anywhere yet so uh, you know it's always a positive Three of three for great stops, do you think? That would be awesome. It would be awesome. Quite a long platform to say it doesn't have much of a service. I reckon we'll be down at the end again, do you? With the uh, with the old stop boards, I can't see one apart from the S. That will do. Right, well that's where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed today's video. Please do click the like button if you have. Going just a little bit past that, but never mind. Uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please do click the like button. If you want to see more of this, or if you want to uh, be reminded of when the next video airs, please do subscribe so that you never miss out on any train sim favourites. Other than that, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.